let R be the region bounded by y equals x squared, which is, a, which is the blue parabola, and y equals root x, which is that red uh, square root function. R is the base of the solid whose cross sections perpendicular to x axis are squares. So first of all, let's establish what R is. R is that yellow area between the red curve and the blue curve. And that is the base of a solid that's going to be made when we take slices perpendicular to the x-axis and the slices are squares, okay? So we're going to generate squares, which I've drawn in here. So if we take a look at the slice perpendicular to x-axis, it's going to have a thickness of dx and the area of the slice is going to be a square. And then we're going to integrate all those slices to get the volume. Okay, so first of all, in general, volume is equal to Volume is equal to the area times thickness. Okay, so then we want to find the volume of this object is going to be the area, which is S squared, the side length squared, times dx. And then we're going to sum this all up. Okay, so that... The S is going to be the side length, which is going to be that, I've done this as this green line here, so that's going to be our side length, S. Okay, and we're going to generate S. The value of S is going to be calculated by the square root of X, the upper function, minus the lower function, which is X squared. Okay, so that's going to be our, our S. I'm going to replace that in my expression, the integral. In this case, we have our integration bounds are going to be here and here. Our lower bound is zero. And when we solve x squared equals root x, this is going to give us the upper bound. So when I undo this, I'm going to end up with x4 equals x. And then we get x4 minus x equals zero. x is zero x cubed minus 1 is equal to 0, and then we get the solution x equals 1 and x equals 0. So those are my bounds. So I get x equals 1 as my upper bound. I'll draw that in here at x equals 1. Okay, I've got my upper bound. I've got my lower bound. I'm going to square my side length and then give it some thickness dx. That side length I've established as the upper function minus the lower function, x squared. Okay, and then now I have an integral which I can anti-differentiate. So anti-differentiating this, I need to expand this first. I'm going to expand this, becomes x. x squared times root x is going to be uh, x to the power 5 over 2, and I'm going to have two of them, so 2x to the power 5 over 2, and then plus x squared times x squared is x4, and then I'm going to give that thickness dx. Evaluating this integral, I get x squared over 2 minus 2x to the 7 over 2, divided by 2 over 7, okay, uh, sorry, that's not divided by 2 over 7, that's going to be divided by 7 over 2, plus x to the power 5 over 5, and integrating that from 0 to 1. Okay, so I'm just going to clean this up a bit, x squared over 2, Minus, this works out to be 4x7 over 2 over 7, and then plus x5 over 5. Evaluating this interval, I end up with 1 half minus 4 over 7 plus 1 over 5. Minus, when I substitute in 0, I get 0. So evaluating this, the common denominator is going to be 70. So it's going to be 35 
over 70 minus 40 over 70 plus, in this case, it's going to be uh, 14 over 70. Okay, so adding this all up, I end up with 9 over 70 units cubed represents the volume of that object that we will generate by taking those slices.